Welcome to the next level with expressions, where we're going to learn more about these things called equations, and we're going to learn about inequalities. So really, this is expressions, equations, and inequalities. In our previous video on expressions, we learned that each of these is an expression because it can be, there, be a single number, like 15 in our upper left-hand corner here. It can be involve those different operations, or it can even involve parentheses. We also learned that we can simplify those expressions. In each of these cases, it's not an accident that each of these expressions is going to simplify or evaluate to 15, to 15. Just a little bit more work on that last one there, but they do all evaluate to 15. Now, what this means is that I can actually write equations. I could write an equation like 15 does equal 23 minus 8. Or this bottom one here in the lower right-hand corner, 45 divided by 1 plus 2. It equals any of these other expressions that are here, or it just equals 15. So I can even put an equal sign right here and write 5 times 3 over here so that I could read this that 5 times 3 equals 45 divided by 1 plus 2, or any of these, any of these possible combinations, because all of these really have the same value. They all have that same value of 15 if we were to simplify or evaluate them. So we write an equation with what this calls is an equal sign. It's kind of like a balance where on one side of the equation, so on the left-hand side of this equation, we have the value of 43. On the other side of the equation, we need to write something where the value is going to be equal to 43. If we had 37 plus, whatever's in the parentheses would have to evaluate to 6. So for instance, I can write a multiplication problem inside the parentheses. 3 times 2, right? 3 times 2. And then so in this case, 43 does equal 37 plus 3 times 2, where we had a parentheses with those expressions with those expressions. Now, if I evaluated this for you, just so that you can see that my equation does balance. 37 plus 6, I'm evaluating this right-hand side of the equation. 43 does equal 43. My equation is balanced. This again, what I'm boxing right here, is the equation, because it has an equals sign. Go ahead and take a moment to write down this vocabulary. An equation is a number sentence where the two sides have the same value. An equation is a number sentence where the two sides have the same value. Hit pause, and while you hit pause, go ahead and find a couple of examples of yourself, for yourself, of equations. There's an example for you, that 4 times 7 equals 30 minus 4 divided by 2. There's no need to evaluate my expression, just as long as I know that the two sides have that same value. In this case, both sides have that value of 28. Here's another example. If I wrote 31 on the left-hand side of my equation, whatever has to be on the right-hand side would have to have the same value. I just need to write an expression on the opposite side over here that has the same value as 31. So for instance, I could write 28 plus 3 minus 1 plus 1 again. Those would have the same value. In this case here, on both sides of our equation, we have expressions. 4 times 7 is an expression. 30 minus 4 divided by 2 is an expression. And so these expressions on both sides of our equation must have that same value. They must equal that same thing. Otherwise, we would not have an equation we'd have what we call an inequality. And that's what we're going to go on to next. We'll have what is called an inequality when the expressions have a different value. So you've got these two expressions, whereas 38 plus 7 is actually just 45. 14 times 3 is equal to 42. And then so for an inequality, what we're going to use is we're going to use some new symbols or some symbols that should be familiar to you, we know that 45 is bigger or is greater than 42. 45 is greater than 42. So we put that right in between, right in between those two expressions. And so we read it, 38 plus 7 
is greater than 14 times 3. And again, this symbol is, is, is red, is greater than. Do you remember the symbol for is less than? Write it in the air. Did you write this in the air? That is red, is less than. And again, so if we write a number sentence, instead of writing 81 is equal to 9 times 9, that's an equation. If we write an inequality where they are not equal, where they are not equal, we can write that they're they are greater than, we can write is less than, we can even write use this symbol here. If that's one of the choices, if that's one of the choices, and this symbol is read is not equal to, is not equal to. For the most part, most of the time you're going to use the less than and greater than symbols. Here's your vocabulary. Go ahead and hit pause. Inequality, a number sentence where the two expressions do not have the same value. So for our example again, 3 plus 7 is greater than, hmm, let's just say it's greater than 2, because I know that 3 plus 7, which evaluates to 10, is greater than 2. Here's another example. Let's write another example for ourselves. 8 divided by 1 is less than 10 times 2. 8 divided by 1 is 8, 10 times 2 is 20, is less than. Read that whole number sentence to yourself. Now read it together with me. 8 divided by 1 is less than 10 plus 2. A number sentence where the two expressions do not have the same value. I'm circling an expression here that has a value of 10. I'm circling an expression here. Single number can be an expression that has that value of 2. 10 is bigger than 2. It's time to play expression, equation, or inequality. Your answer to these questions will be expression, equation, or inequality. On your mark, get set, go. Your answer. Your answer in 3, 2, and 1. Your answer in 3, 2, and 1. Your answer in 3, 2, and 1. Thanks for playing our game today. This is an equation because there is an equal sign. This is an inequality. This is red. 15 is greater than 2 times 6. A number can be an expression, just like all these other things that I'm circling right now are also expressions. They just happen to have some other signs in them. They are complete number sentences. This here is a number sentence. Remember this symbol right there is, and is not equal to. 87 is not equal to 35 times 2 plus 1. It is an inequality. Those two sides are not equal. They do not evaluate to that same thing. This here is the type of instructions that you're most often going to see, where it's a copy and complete by using greater than, less than, or equal. And then so on the left-hand side here, we've got 42 plus 18 minus 7. We've got this expression. And on the right-hand side, we've got this expression. We have to determine, we have to figure out whether or not they are greater than each other, whether or not they are less than each other, or whether or not they are equal to each other. And the only way to do that is to go ahead and evaluate both sides of that expression, not expression, but the, either the inequality or equality as the case may be. And then so if I evaluate the left-hand side, it evaluates to 53. If I evaluate the right-hand side, it evaluates to 40. So what symbol are we going to put in between those two? We're going to go ahead and complete that number sentence by putting a greater than symbol and then so in that case there, we have 42 plus 18 minus 7 is greater than 20 times 2. That there is our number sentence, our number sentence. And in this case, because it involves a greater than symbol, it is an inequality as well. Here are a couple for you to try. Please go ahead and copy these down. You don't need to copy down the instructions. Just go ahead and copy down each of those number sentences there and solve them. 
Hit pause. Please show your work. Hit pause. Now I've shown my work for each of those problems there. The one that probably caused some people difficulty, or possibly caused some people difficulty, I would say maybe the last one. Now I know that 19 is less than 34, so now after doing all of that work, you better make sure to put in that correct symbol. You put in those correct symbols. And again, I think that this one might have caused some people difficulty because they might have been tempted to put 6 and 4 together first, but we have to multiply 3 times 6 before we add. It's by the order of operations. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 4 is 22. And 19 is less than 22, or 19 is less than 3 times 6 plus 4. I think the key to this here is to make sure to show your work, to show that work when you're evaluating each of those expressions for either an inequality, so I'm circling right here, a number sentence, where it is those are not equal, in this case they're less than, or an equality, where they're equal. And again, we've got our expressions, we've got our equations, and we have our inequalities.